So after you do the first initial wash of a color, doing the same way you did with the pinch project, pick a color, just do a one wash over. It's not going to mean what it's all going to look like later. It's just going to go in and enhance the textures. So afterwards, in the cabinet above the big sink over there, there are more staining colors as well. And you just take the Tupperware, and you don't even need this much. Only it's a tiny bit of paint, maybe about the size of like a uh, quarter or a nickel. But the thing you want to do is just pull out just little tiny bits. You want your brush to be almost void of paint in a way because it's dry brushing and you take a paper towel and if you hardly see anything at all that's fine because it'd be better to build it up. And so the idea is that you're still rubbing it in, it's still staining. I'm going to use a different brush because I can't put it between those two very well. It's still staining. You rub it into the surface and you, then you start to layer it. You zoom in, you start to layer it if you zoom in, if you are not. So you start to have all of these transitions. So again, make sure that wipe off the color. color. Come in. But this is the most important thing. You don't need this much paint, just a tiny bit of paint. Pull it out. So almost nothing on your brush. Test it by getting it off of the paper towels. And then as you see, I tried to get all the paint off of here. And there's still paint, it's dry brushing, and I have all these different layers and dimensions to now the layers of paint is going into the surface instead of just laying on the top only getting one color. And that's what I want people to practice. Because it's hard because most people want to just layer and just paint it over with something the traditional way you've always painted your entire life. But I want people to practice layering and staining different colors on top of one another. First by doing an overall wash, then coming in with small amounts and going over the top. And so,